हाय एवरीवन आज हमारे साथ हैं श्री वरेंद्र सिंह जो एन भुवनेश्वर के रीजनल ऑफिसर हैं सर थोड़ा सा शेयर कीजिए अपने करियर के बारे में आई मीन एन एच आई सेंस लास्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स एंड आई वर्क इन श्रीनगर जे एंड के राजस्थान देन डेली एंड उड़ीसा आई हैव वर्क मोस्टली एज ए प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर इन फाइव सिक्स पी आई यूज सर वेर एवर आई हैव इनकाउंटर्ड विद यू ऑन डिफरेंट मीटिंग आई सीन यू हैव एक्सलेंट कोलेबरेशन विद स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेट मशीनरी and you are working hand in hand with them towards road safety so would you like to share something about that yeah since uh, been in pius my experience is the best input on safety comes from the road safety committees which have been appointed by the uh, supreme court and monitored by them they give you the real uh, input about the places where the accidents are taking place and they give very rightful suggestions this is very very important now especially since uh, the atms 2023 has come and nhi is emphasizing uh, a lot on the collaboration between the national highway and the state in fact in my view the only reason why we have so many accidents in our country so far uh, because there was no proper collaboration and you seem to be spearheading the the collaborative activity and now the policy of the nhi of atm s 2023 is also moving things in that direction because now the data will be shared with the state and the enforcement will be done by the state so would you like to share some of your views on the new policy circular of atm s 2023 now this uh, new 2023 is has got focus on two things one is the collecting those informations to find out where are the technical where are the geometrical deficiencies or technical deficiency in our project how we can uh, improve upon them then the behavioral things like over speeding wrong side driving and all that and the other factor which is very important in this is that uh, we are moving towards integrating our atms with the uh, law enforcing agencies so that whatever we are doing some enforcement element is also added to it uh, so that uh, it becomes uh, successful uh, further sir nhi is also planning free flow tolling so for that also the uh, the nhi will have to go to the state government and uh, how do you think that will happen the toll enforcement through the state government no we have we have a federal structure where uh, law law is the subject of a state so in any case we have to, on all the issues we have to take the support of state government starting from land acquisition forest clearance and all that and uh, because uh, this uh, all uh, all systems are related to the life of the public people so state government is certainly going to help to open tolling Uh, means gps based uh, tolling mm. they will will again uh, approach them but only thing is uh, uh, for police the uh, record which is in present days it is digital record is also a legal document so the digital record of uh, the defaults will help uh, the state taking actions so now with the almost no traffic enforcement on highways to a system of combined enforcement for tolling and traffic how do you see this combined scenario giving uh, um, added power to the road safety providing safe environment to the to our uh, users and in that this technology atms the new atms 2023 will help us in both in toll collection and as well as reducing the accidents and fatalities on our highway thank you thank you so much sir that was great talking to you thank you so much for your time okay